Today's news. Today's news. On the hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Steve Kaysen. No stopping the record-shattering heat wave in the southwest. Today will be the 25th day. Temperatures top 110 in Phoenix. It's miserable, actually. I don't get out that much. I stay inside. Go back east, complain about heat, and then I get mad at them. So I got to keep myself in check. <laughs> and CBS News meteorologist David Parkinson says as the week goes on, millions more will see the mercury rise. Wednesday, when we start folding portions of the upper Midwest into this heat, 100 degrees, you're likely high in Minneapolis and St. Paul. By the time we get to Thursday, the Northeast really starts to cook. We're looking at 97, 98 for the nation's capital, probably mid 90s for New York as well. Now to Israel. <laughs> Opposition lawmakers shout shame as the parliament approves a portion of the plan to overhaul the country's judiciary. CBS's Robert Berger in Jerusalem. This judicial reform is really tearing the country apart. Israel is a very small country the size of New Jersey. And at least half of the population is against this. They fear Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his right-wing government that basically they're leading Israel down the path uh, to authoritarianism and even dictatorship. South Korea claims North Korea launched multiple test missiles hours after opening a dialogue with the U.S. command, or the U.N. command, that is, about a U.S. soldier who crossed into the country last week. The Biden administration is poised to sue Texas over controversial efforts to stop migrants. Reporter Chris Fox. Governor Abbott received a letter from the DOJ warning that the buoy barriers recently deployed in the Rio Grande are unlawful, present serious risks to public safety, and interfere with the Fed's duties along the border. Governor Abbott responded on social media saying, we will see you in court, Mr. President. Well, CBS's Errol Barnett tells us there's an investigation in Ohio into the use of a police dog during a traffic stop involving truck driver Jadarius Rose. Come me! Body cam footage shows Rose exiting the vehicle and a appearing to comply with officers' instructions. Do not release the dog! Put his hands up! But despite a clear warning from at least one state trooper to the local Surfaceville PD to not release its canine onto Rose, an officer released the animal anyway. The dog biting Rose for more than 30 seconds as he screams for officers to get it off him. Latest studio totals out this morning show the movie Barbie took in $162 million in the U.S. and Canada over the weekend, $337 million globally. Wall Street right now, the Dow's up 199 This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.